I'm Prasad from Structural Guide. You're welcome to the Structural Guide YouTube channel. Today we are going to discuss about foundation sizing. How to size the foundation? What are the factors considered in foundation sizing? All those will, will be discussed today. Please subscribe our YouTube channel. You may get the notification on your videos. Also, remember to like our videos. What is the shallow foundation? Today we are going to discuss about shallow foundation sizing. There are different types of shallow foundation. Out of those, I have listed several. Spread footings, combined footings, strip footings, inverted T footings, rough foundations. So all those foundation can be sized or their length and width can be determined the method we discussed today. Factors affecting the foundation size. Mainly there are two factors we consider in foundation sizing. That is applied load. Applied load in the serviceability limit state. It is not the ultimate limit state load. We consider serviceability limit state load when sizing the foundation. The next factor is the allowable bearing capacity. The net allowable bearing capacity or allowable bearing capacity where the foundation is rested. So that we have to consider in this. What is the method of sizing foundations? So you, I think most of you know the stress, force and area relationship. Stress is equal force divided by the area. So that equation is used in this method. So you can see in this figure here Area is equal to force divided by the stress. Force is the serviceability limit state stress. Force. Stress is allowable bearing capacity. With that we can determine the size of the foundation. Let's discuss with this the work example. This figure here you can see the length and width of the foundation. So these are the length and width. In this case, we consider square foundation, then width and length are equal. Area of the footing is what we are going to determine initially. In this example, we consider serviceability load apply on the foundation as 150 kN. Allowable bearing capacity of soil as 150 kN per meter square. So, we know the area, and we can calculate the area. Force we know, stress we know. 450 divided by 150 that is 3 square meter. Now we have to find the length and width. So area of the footing is we have already found. Now. In this case we consider square footing. Then length and width are equal. Length into width equals 3 because our area is 3. So length can be calculated from this equation. The, you have to take the square root of this. So 3.7, 1.732 meters. So this value may be considered 170, 1750 millimeters. The, this method we can use to sizing any kind of foundations, any kind of shallow foundations. If you know the allowable bearing capacity and applied load on the footing or applied load on the ground. This load should include the weight of the foundation also. So certain assumption we might need based on your judgment or initial sizing, you can determine the size of the footing, thickness of the foot. Say if it is thickness is uh, 400, so we that, that it's better we have to calculate that, consider that also in this calculation or else you can do it. Once you find the sizing, then we can check, recheck or readjustment could be done. With that we end the discussion. So we, we discuss about the foundation sizing. How do we do? What are the factors to be considered when sizing the foundation? Thank you very much. We meet again from new video.